Hey guys, alright? Welcome everyone. We begin in the year 1818, where we see the young Abraham Lincoln, who witnesses the scene of his friend William being attacked by a slave owner. Lincoln tries to help his friend and attacks the man, but is easily knocked down. The slave owner starts attacking the two boys until Thomas, Abraham's father, punches him, causing him to fall into the river. Bart goes out to confront Thomas for hitting his slave owner and fires him on the spot. He then demands that Thomas pay his debt in full, but Thomas refuses to pay, so Bart promises to get his payment one way or another. That night, young Lincoln is in bed when he hears the doors open and a shadowy figure enter the room, attacking his mother Nancy. After that, Nancy becomes very ill, in intense pain. The doctors can't do anything to help her and leave her alone. Lincoln lies next to his mother and begins to read to her, and they read together until Nancy slowly dies beside him. After burying her, Lincoln tries to explain what he saw to his father again, but his father makes him promise not to do anything foolish. Nine years later, Lincoln is in a bar when he meets a man named Henry, who warmly greets him, but Lincoln's gun accidentally falls out of his coat, and he runs off. That night, Lincoln returns to the plantation docks where he sees Bart talking to his boss Adam, ordering him to send a new crop to the south. When Adam leaves, Lincoln emerges from under the docks and points his gun at Bart, but the gunpowder is wet, and the gun doesn't fire. Lincoln runs off with Bart mocking him about his mother's death and how he knew little Lincoln wasn't asleep. Lincoln tries to bar the door and load his gun, but ends up dropping a bullet. Fortunately, he manages to prepare his gun, and as Bart breaks down the door, Lincoln shoots him in the eye. Thinking Bart is dead, Lincoln throws his gun away, but then is attacked by Bart, who is now transformed into a terrifying vampire. Before Lincoln is killed, Henry appears and throws Bart away with superhuman strength, causing the vampire to flee. Lincoln wakes up in an unfamiliar room with his wounds bandaged. He hears screams coming from another room and thinking someone is being attacked, he opens the door, but it's just Henry and his wife having fun. Henry finishes his activities and goes to introduce himself again to Lincoln, implying that he's been watching him for a while. He rebukes Lincoln for taking his revenge mission drunkenly and without any preparation. He reveals that Bart is a vampire and that he hunts vampires as a hobby. Lincoln thought vampires were just a myth, but Henry reveals that they are very real and active even within the government. Seeing this as an opportunity, Lincoln wants Henry to teach him how to fight and kill vampires to avenge his mother, but learns that if revenge is all he seeks, then it's a lost cause. Lincoln agrees to put his vengeance aside, so Henry agrees to teach him. He introduces Lincoln to his arsenal of weapons, but seeing that his gun didn't work last time, Lincoln sees an axe and falls in love with it. Henry then takes him to the forest ordering him to chop down a thick tree with just one blow. Lincoln thinks it's impossible, but Henry tells him to imagine the thing he hates most. Lincoln starts swinging weakly at first, but repeating all his failures to himself, he channels his anger until he smashes the tree in a single blow. The next lesson is learning to defend himself in the dark, as some vampires have the ability to become invisible. The first lesson doesn't go so well, but Lincoln remains steadfast in his training and lessons until he can skillfully wield his axe and hold his own against Henry. Henry then coats Lincoln's axe blade in silver, explaining that silver is a vampire's weakness and can be used to identify them, and also their lack of reflexes makes them stand out. He shows Lincoln the main vampires, Vodoma and Adam, the man who created all the vampires. He adds that when slaves were brought to America, vampires saw the opportunity to feed and created an empire in the South where they allied with slave owners. Their role as hunters is to ensure that the world remains in the hands of men. After a few years, Lincoln ends up in the city called Springfield. There he sees the owner of a grocery store, named Speed, kicking out a poor worker. Lincoln needs a room, but has no money, so Speed, seeing that he's short-staffed, offers Lincoln a job in exchange for a stay. One day, Lincoln is working at the grocery store when he meets a young woman named Mary Todd and is enchanted by her, but then meets Stephen Douglas, her political fiancé. Lincoln then receives a note from Henry about a possible vampire working at the town's pharmacy. As soon as he closes, Lincoln prepares his weapons and heads out. He arrives at the pharmacy and upon entering finds the man in the back. Once Lincoln identifies him, the man transforms and attacks him, throwing him down into a trap where Lincoln is hung upside down by his feet. Around him, multiple bodies are hanging, and their blood is being drained. 
The man descends and prepares a blade, ready to drain Lincoln's blood, but Lincoln quickly manages to free himself and then kill the vampire. He buries the corpse deep in the forest, noting that he still hasn't caught the man who's after him. After a while, Lincoln and Speed become friends, and the two are invited to a ball where Speed wants him to be alone with Mary. Speed is a good matchmaker and engages Stephen in some political conversation signaling for Mary to go to Lincoln, so Mary goes to him and gets him to dance with her. He tells her about his interest in law, and more recently, his interest is in her. Soon, Lincoln receives another tip about a vampire working at the local bank. Lincoln approaches the seemingly busy man with his axe ready, but the man disappears from sight. Lincoln throws rice around, revealing his presence, and manages to avoid the attack, killing the vampire. In his letters back to Henry, he notes that there are many more vampires than he anticipated, but never refuses to accept his missions. During a picnic with Mary, Lincoln can't stay awake, as he's worked all week. They've been dating for a while, so Lincoln tells her he'll tell her the truth. He tells her that he hunts vampires, but obviously she thinks he's joking. He walks her back home, and she uses her unusually strong hat to get taller and kiss him, but Henry's reminder about the dangers of being a hunter makes him pull away. He leaves, and unbeknownst to him, Bart is watching Mary closely. Adam and Vidoma see the news about their dead associates and know that Henry is involved and are eager to meet Lincoln. Lincoln is at the grocery store when he sees a man enter the store. The man questions him about the laws on slavery. The man turns out to be Will, his childhood friend. Will has been working as a smuggler but is being hunted by bounty hunters and needs Lincoln to write a legal note saying he's a free man. The two then go for a walk, when the bounty hunters start attacking Will. Lincoln intervenes and quickly defeats the men. He and Will end up in jail for the fight, and Mary comes to look for them, informing them that they'll soon be free. After that, Lincoln starts his political campaign to tackle the issue of slavery from a different perspective. There, he meets Senator Nolan, who offers to connect him with the right people. Henry shows up where Lincoln tells him that politics is his backup plan, as he still can't get the mission he wants the most. Henry reveals to him that Bart knows about Mary and that it's time to kill him. Lincoln rushes and goes back to the old plantation with his axe in hand. Lincoln almost corners him, but Bart catches wind of him and avoids his blows. The attack spooked the horses, and Lincoln mounts one to chase after Bart. The vampire uses his superhuman strength to bring down two horses, causing Lincoln to fall off his horse. Bart leaps onto him, but Lincoln throws him towards a horse. Bart recovers and throws a horse at Lincoln, who literally catches the animal and rides it. Lincoln grabs his axe and chases after Bart trying to attack him, but Bart starts running along the backs of the horses, and Lincoln, fearlessly, follows suit. The two fight until they fall off a cliff. They fight each other, but Lincoln with his weapon inside the axe, shoots the vampire in the head, leaving him writhing in agony. As the vampire writhes, he tells Lincoln that they will take over the country, as they are thousands. Then before dying, he reveals that Henry is also a vampire. That night, in an alley, a woman is being harassed by a thug, when Henry appears from behind him and attacks him. As he feeds, Lincoln enters the alley confronting Henry by attacking him. Henry defends himself and says that Lincoln wasn't ready to know and explains what happened to him. It turns out that Henry was a human who was on the road with his love when they were confronted by a group of vampires. Henry managed to skillfully defeat the first vampire sent to defeat him, but when he faced Adam, he was brutally beaten. His woman tried to help him, but she was held back and forced to watch as Henry was bitten by Adam. Henry then watched helplessly as Adam sucked all the blood from his girl, killing her. Henry at that moment turned and tried to attack Adam, but by natural law, he is unable to kill another vampire. Lincoln understands his painful past but decides to go separate ways with Henry. Lincoln returns to the store, where he's greeted by Mary. They enter together, where she notices that Lincoln is acting strange. It turns out he wants to marry her and proposes right then and there. Days later they marry, with William and Speed as witnesses. Henry appeared at the reception, warning Lincoln to be careful, but Lincoln thinks Adam doesn't know him. Meanwhile, Adam is looking at Bart's body inside a coffin when he sees he's holding Lincoln's pendant. He then orders Vidora to bring Lincoln to their plantation. Meanwhile, William is kidnapped by one of Adam's men, and they send a letter inviting Lincoln to their plantation to get him back. He and Speed travel to New Orleans and arrive at the plantation, but they see no signs of slaves. 
They arrive at the massive house where they see William and other slaves dancing with vampires, but something isn't right, and the vampires suddenly attack all the slaves. Lincoln enters the hall and finds Adam waiting for him. The vampires suddenly start attacking him, but Lincoln has perfected his skills and begins to take down the monsters. The vampires even try to surprise Lincoln, but the hunter's skills are superior to theirs, and they are easily eliminated. William joins him in the fight, but the Doma knocks him down with a powerful kick. Lincoln is clearing the floor with the vampires until the Doma attacks him and traps him under a chair. Adam is impressed with Lincoln's skills and offers to set him free, telling Lincoln to kill Henry, or he will turn him into one of them. Adam then prepares to kill William, but Speed bursts into the hall with a carriage saving Lincoln and William. The three reach a river, where they find a woman in a boat and head for Ohio. They are taken to a church, which is also a hideout for runaway slaves. The Doma and his men appear outside, but the priest manages to divert them. Seeing the horrors of slavery, Lincoln begins to drive his political career, seeking the abolition of slavery. Henry warns that slavery was the only thing keeping the vampires in the South and that taking it away would unleash hell. Lincoln then decides to put away his axe forever and eventually becomes President of the United States. The war between the North and the South begins years later. Lincoln and Nancy have a son named William. One day, without their knowledge, the Doma infiltrates the White House and gains access to William's room, where she bites him. Seeing the mark on his hand, Lincoln recalls his mother and is disturbed by thoughts of her attackers. In his office, he sees the pocket watch he lost many years ago while fighting Bart. Later, as he sits by William's bedside, Henry comes to visit him, looking the same as many years ago. Henry tells him he can restore the boy's life, and Mary overhears and tells Henry to do it. She reveals she read Lincoln's diary and knows he hunts vampires for real, but Lincoln tries to tell her William wouldn't be the same. Eventually, Lincoln decides to send his Union troops into battle. The Confederate president hears this news and convinces Adam to send his vampires to the front lines at the Battle of Gettysburg. However, the Union soldiers are decimated by the vampires. The news reaches Lincoln, who is now worried he might lose the war, but Mary urges him to stay focused. He then remembers the vampire's weakness to silver and begins confiscating all the silverware around the states. Speed then secretly meets with the Doma, revealing his thoughts on Lincoln destroying the country and telling her about Lincoln's plan to move the silver by train. Mary then meets with Harriet Tubman, revealing she needs to leave Washington and needs her help. Lincoln, realizing his skills are needed once again, then picks up his axe after many years. In the next scene, we see Lincoln's train, where Speed is with him. Meanwhile, Harriet and Mary are walking along a road when they encounter Adam, the Doma, and their men. The Doma almost discovers Mary, but they hear the train and go after it, revealing the dozens of slaves following Mary. On the train, Henry appears and tries to tell Lincoln that Speed is a traitor, but he tells Henry he's mistaken. The vampires then board the train, and William is the first to be attacked. He does his best to fight back. Eventually, Lincoln joins the fight, reaching the roof where William is fighting. The two begin to decimate the vampires by combining their skills. Lincoln then faces Adam, who throws him back with a single kick and breaks his axe. William tries to attack, but Adam almost sends him flying off the train. Lincoln manages to hold him as Adam begins to taunt him, saying he will take over the country and tries to bite him, but Henry takes the bite, and the two start fighting. Henry is no match for Adam, who begins to throw him against the train. Inside one of the wagons, during the fight, they break one of the crates, where Adam is confused to see the crates filled with rocks instead of silver. Meanwhile, the Doma sets fire to the bridge ahead. Adam then finds Speed and confronts him for lying to him and kills him. The train then passes over the bridge, which begins to collapse under its weight. Lincoln and William, who are on the train, desperately try to maintain balance. Adam exits the train and starts destroying the bridge with powerful kicks before confronting William and Lincoln. He attacks and suddenly disappears, but Lincoln wraps his silver watch around his fist and impales Adam's heart, thus killing him. As the train is about to fall, Henry comes to their rescue and, using all his strength, holds the train long enough for Lincoln and William to escape. The next day, we find out that Mary and Harriet organized the other slaves to transport the silver to the army. While Mary directs the soldiers, she spots wounded the Doma lurking nearby. Mary then grabs a weapon, and the two face off, with the Doma attacking her. However, Mary kills the Doma by shooting the silver toy of her deceased son. The subsequent wars against the vampires were won, thanks to the silver used. 
Almost two years later, Henry tells Lincoln that the remaining vampires have fled the country. Henry tries to convince Lincoln to allow him to turn him into a vampire so that he can become immortal and continue fighting the vampires, but Lincoln refuses. In modern times, Henry approaches a man in a bar in Washington, D.C., just as he once did with Lincoln, 